Roslyn and Julianne join us, two ladies that are going to be representing Canada, and we have them in our own backyard at the International Children's Games in Ufa, Russia, coming up in, what is it, a week that you're leaving? Yeah, Saturday. Now this is exciting because you're, you're figure skaters, you're the only figure skaters part of Team Canada. But by the way, I love the hats. Do you like the hat? Do you get to keep the scars? Yep. Yeah. Okay, now Roslyn, take me through this competition because you're going over to Russia. First, have you been to Russia before? No. What do you expect from Russia? Um, it'll be really cool because it's a whole different culture and it'll be a lot colder. You think it'll be colder than here? Yeah, about minus 20. Wow, yeah, that, it's a little colder. It's like Saskatchewan. But you might as well just go to Saskatchewan. <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm kidding. Okay, Julianne, take me through this, this competition that is part of the International Children's Games. How did you become part of Team Canada? Um, well, I was the right age and the uh, top of uh, my uh, category, so that's how I got chosen. What do you know about the competition? Um, there's going to be 57 different countries or, or cities going, and, and yeah, there's about 18 countries in our event with about 18 skaters. Or 18 skaters in like a few different countries. So. What does it mean to be the only two Canadian figure skaters going? Um, it's definitely really cool because we get to not only be representing Kelowna, but we represent Canada as well. So we've got a whole country supporting us, not just one city. Oh, absolutely. And we are your biggest fans, though, being in Kelowna, being, being from Kelowna. Now, you have a short program, you have a long program, correct? Yeah. Yep. Now, you have had some success with the long program, is that right? Uh, yeah, with both. Okay, what, what's the success? Uh, last year I was pre-novice national champion and this year I'm novice bronze medalist. Wow, so will you be performing the same routine in Russia? Yep. Okay, and for you, Rosalind, are you performing what you have or you have something new in store? Two new, a short program that's new and a long program that's new. How long does it take you to learn a program, a short program and a long program? Um, it took me about a week for both. So, yeah, they're, they're new and I've only competed with the short program once and I've never competed with the long program, so. Okay. You've been to Russia before? Nope, never. How long has been your longest plane ride? Uh, four and a half hours. <laughs> how about you? Six hours. And how long is this one? 17. What are you guys going to be doing on a plane for for that long? Um, mostly sleeping and probably doing homework. Um, <laughs> yeah. Because you're right in the middle of school too. What are the school teachers saying about your trip to Russia? Um, they're all excited, but you know, just deep down inside, they're like, you're gonna have a lot of homework when you come back. <laughs> do you wanna do you wanna learn Russian? Do you know any Russian going to Russia? Um, I know hello and goodbye, but n nothing really more. Uh, Give us a little hello and goodbye. Privet and das vidanya. And what are you looking forward to the most? Other than competition and hopefully coming back with a medal, what what are you looking forward to most being in Russia? Um, it'll be a new culture and it'll be really exciting just to see different people. And it'll be weird because you'll go up to someone and no matter what you say, they'll still look at you the same way because they will have no idea what you're saying. <laughs> and what about you, yourself? What do you want to take away? Um, I don't know. Just a, It's a good, a great experience and just meet new people and see new things. Ladies, thanks for doing this. Good luck in Russia, all right? Thank you. All right, two ladies that are representing Canada, Julianne and Roslyn, part of Team Canada, the only figure skaters from Canada. They're from Kelowna, and they're going to the International Games in Ufa, Russia. Good luck, ladies.